the Westboro Public Library. Um, there we serve about around 20,000 people in our community, and we have a lot of programming available for younger people. So we have programs that you can come into, you can hang out with your friends. We have, um, there's game nights, there's volunteer activities. So sometimes you need that for school. You need something to put, um, I guess, on your high school resume before you get a real work resume. Um, but there's volunteer activities that you can sign up for, which some of that even includes helping us run the library. What kind of materials you want, what kind of programs you'd like to see. And then we do it. <laughs> we listen to the people and what they want. Um, we have book groups. There's uh, study spaces that's also important. And so you can meet with your tutors if you need to or just hang out with your friends and work on your project. We have a lot of big spaces and it's a free place for people to hang out, which is that's also there's not a lot of those anymore either. Um, we have a lot of databases that you can use if you need some help uh, doing research. Some of the databases we have at our library, we have one called BrainFuse, which that's our online tutoring website. And you can get actual real-time help if you're stuck on a math question or if you need to learn how to uh, write your term paper better. BrainFuse can help you with that. We have a local history center that we call the Westboro Center. And within there, it's an actual room in the library. We have a whole picture archive with some really interesting information in there. And we have an online archive as well. So if you needed to access things for some local research, you can get that right from home too without even having to come into the library if you can't make it. Um, we have a lot of resources where you can download eBooks, audiobooks, and movies. We have about three or four of those different websites and Gale Resources. This is one database, but it's comprised of a whole lot of different pieces. So it can really encompass all the aspects of the research that you're looking for from researching culinary cuisine to presidents, whatever information you need, the Gale databases would have that for you.